Hey there, tech coaches. Are you looking to create a dynamic newsletter? In this episode of Tech Coach Weekly, we're going to walk you through how you can use Google Sites to engage and entertain your digital teachers this year. So stick around for Tech Coach Weekly. And welcome back to Tech Coach Weekly. My name is Jeff Bradbury, and with me, as always, is Sue Vincents from Tech Imagination. Sue, how are you today? Welcome to Tech Coach Weekly. I'm great and so excited. So, Jeff, tell us what we're going to learn about today. Today, we're talking all about newsletters, those things that tech coaches use each and every week to communicate with their teachers. And today is our first of a two-part series where we're going to be looking at Google Sites and how we can use Google Sites as a weekly newsletter tool. I know that we can use it as a website tool, but newsletters, Sue, what are we going to be learning about today? Well, we're going to talk about templates and what to do to create and how to make it look nice and presentable so that your teachers will read it. That's right. So let's take a look at how you guys can create a wonderful tech coach newsletter using Google Sites. Well, here we are in Google Sites. So this is where we are going to look at creating a newsletter for you as a tech coach, which in turn can be used by your teachers as their classroom newsletter. And the idea of using Google Sites as your newsletter is to just make it a little more efficient kind of like a one-stop shop where your teachers can go and get all the information that they need from you and make it easily viewable on a phone a computer or a tablet device so think about those times when you send a pdf newsletter that you've created um, so eloquently on the computer and they can view it great there but then when they try to view it at when they view it at home on a mobile device, they're having to increase the resolution so they can see it better. Here on Google Sites, it's going to optimize that for viewing on whatever device. So let's look at what I have started here. So here I am in Google Sites at the main screen. Now you can choose to start a brand new site, but I want to also remind you of the template gallery. So you're gonna have a few templates featured here on the main page, but when you click on this template gallery, it's gonna give you several categories divided into work, business and enterprise, small business, personal education down here. So if I click on one of these education ones, it's going to load up and it's going to have some pages already done for you. Now this is ideal for teachers who want a quick and easy way to make a classroom website, which here notice it includes a page for their newsletter with little tiles that they can type in and attach different things from their Google Drive. But we're going to go back. So remember to go back to the home page of Google Sites. Just click on the Google Sites icon. And we're going to go over here to one that I've started to show you an example. So this is an example that I've created of maybe if I'm creating a new website as a tech coach, I'm brand new or I'm revamping and here's my website. It's called Tech Coach News. And here I have pages created that include my home page, which we're on, my newsletter, which we're going to look at, district and school resources, about me and contact. Now, none of these others have information there yet. I created this as an example, but we're going to click over here to the newsletter page and I can either click on the page itself or I can go over to the menu and click on pages. So here is my example newsletter. So I have little tiles here that I want to feature in that newsletter for that week, or maybe I'm doing a monthly newsletter. And this just makes it quick and easy. I don't have to write a long narrative of anything. I have my headings, and then I can start listing what's under here. So really quick, I'm going to show you how I created. We're going to go over to Pages, and I'm going to add a new page. So at the bottom, I'm going to click the plus sign, and I'm going to call this newsletter. And yes, that makes us have two pages. That's okay for this purpose. So here I'm going to edit my newsletter by clicking insert because that's where I want to add my items. Now, your friend when you're creating a newsletter is these layouts. 
If you have forgotten or haven't used Google Sites in a while, they have all these layouts ready and done for you. So I'll click on any of these. It gives me a big tile, and notice how I had mine set up on the other page. I had all these tiles, and then I was going to put my information underneath it. So maybe I pick three tiles or just two tiles or several tiles here. So then I'm going to come up here and edit what I've added. So this would be the ideal place to put just an intro picture. So you may have these categories that you're going to feature every week or every month. So I'm clicking here and then I'm going to select my image or I might upload it from whatever device I'm using or from my Google Drive. I'm just going to hit select image here, go to my Google Drive, and we're going to select my tech imagination symbol. We're going to insert that one and then resize it as you um, see fit, make it larger, smaller, so it will fit there on the page. And then my edit text, I'm going to call this my tech tips, tricks, and tools. Then I'm going to add my other section, select the image, maybe I'm going to do a Google search, and I'm going to put coming soon. And we're going to select an image here. And we're going to add it in there. And then we're going to add that information. Or maybe I need another section. And I'm going to do the same thing. And remember, you can upload from your computer, your device, select an image, or from your drive. And then here, we're going to put what's up. Then I can take this and I can start manipulating the format. Maybe I want to align this to the left and make a bulleted list. So this week's tech tip is, and then you may list several things underneath there, and I can make a bulleted list by hitting return and hitting tab. And then here I may list dates coming up the first week of September then we list things and so on so that gives you a quick and easy idea of the layouts the templates that we talked about back on the other page making you a quick and easy way to have a newsletter that you can update weekly, monthly, and you're not having to send out this PDF attachment. You're having to send out this one link when you publish it. And if you've used Google Sites before, you know you need to publish your site. And remember, you can publish it with your web address name that you chose. And then after you publish, you can come up here to the chain link Click the copy publish site link and then paste that into an email on the school's website, the district's website, what have you, wherever it is that features your tech coach's page. So I would encourage you to do something like this to make things quick and easy, especially if you're new. This is a one stop shop for you to put all of that information. So it's amazing how many different things you can use Google Sites for. I always looked at it as a website designer, but if you really look outside the box, it can be used for so many different purposes. I love the fact that you can create a newsletter and just have it archived throughout the entire school year. Absolutely, and just be able to refer back to it um, when questions arise throughout the year. That is awesome and my go-to piece. So if you guys have any questions, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment below. We would love to have you guys be a part of the TeacherCast Tech Coaches community. And on behalf of Sue and everybody here in the TeacherCast Tech Coaches Network, my name is Jeff Bradbury, reminding you guys to keep up the great work in your classrooms and continue sharing your passions with your students.